CataractCoach.com, an Italian resident's eighth cataract case. So let's all offer some good advice. And remember, signora, per favore, guardi la luce, huh? All righty, that just means look at the light. Now, here we go. Starting off, we got an anonymous resident. We sped the video up to three times normal speed. Now, this is impressive for case number eight. Now, it's totally anonymous like we do with all resident videos. So uh, you got to believe the resident. But remember, the new generation learns faster than we do because they have the benefit of these videos. You know, I was recently at the Italian Category Factor meeting, and I learned a lot. Let's see the incision here. It's pretty darn good for case eight. Wow. Now, let's see the Rexes here. Using forceps only, no cystotome. Look at the, in case number eight. Let's watch the Rexes. Beautiful. This is amazing for case eight. Now, you may say, no, this is not case eight. This is not Why? Why would they be dishonest? I'm not putting any names there. No one's getting any credit. That's a beautiful Rexes for case eight. I cannot even believe it. But I was at the Italian Catacrofractive meeting, end of March in Trieste, Italy. I had so much fun. I learned so much. I love the enthusiasm of these young Italian residents. Amazing. They have a thirst for knowledge and enthusiasm you could not believe. I really enjoyed meeting them. I'm so proud of them. They're going to do big things, I tell you. Now, let's watch this video here. And I, by the way, on Cataract Coach, I'm going to teach you all the secrets. I will give away all the secrets. Believe me, I'll teach you all the stuff that your professors may not teach you. I will teach you. Do not worry. Now, Let's start the video here, or the cataract surgery here, doing a groove down the middle. That's a pretty nice groove. Let's see how the eye is not quite centered. That's, I can tell you, you're early in the stage, but that's pretty good still. Groove down the middle, stop and chop. Wow, look at that. This is amazing for case 8 and I believe it's case 8 because people study a lot now. Now let's see what's going to happen here. You're going to groove again. Okay, so divide and conquer, not stop and chop. If you're doing stop and chop at case 8 I'm blown away. I'd rather you just learn everything there. Remember, your goal is to learn as much as possible in residency. Learn all the techniques. Don't just learn one technique. Learn divide and conquer. Learn stop and chop. Learn every variation of chop you can. Learn pre-chop. Learn whatever you want. You want to learn more, not less. So this is a divide and conquer. You can see how the eye is not centered up or in primary. That's very typical for a young surgeon. That's okay. See those three corneal light reflexes, the Purkinje image? You want that in the very center of the cornea. See how the eye is really not staying in the center, you want the iris at all times to be parallel to the floor of the room. And the iris is not right here. So the grooves weren't ideal, and that's why it's, they're still kind of stuck together. Hard time splitting this up. Okay, coming out of the eye. Oh, pupils coming down. Eesh, a little bit tough. Let's see what you're going to do here. So, okay, more viscoelastic perhaps. And now let's see, get the probe back in the eye. This is pretty good. So, again, this video is edited about seven minutes. So if there's three times normal speed movie, the video is about 20 minutes long. That's pretty darn good for case eight. I mean, that's really, really good. But again, your goal here is not speed. You know what I'd rather you do is take five extra minutes and the entire case have the eye in primary. See how the eye is not in primary? This is how I know you're a beginner. I shouldn't have this eye going out of the, the view here. See how the eye is being pushed up there, up against the lid there in the nasal canthus? You don't want that. Keep the eye in primary. Part of it is keep your right hand down. The probe should be almost parallel to the iris, and both of those should be almost parallel to the floor of the room. See how the, the view is kind of dark here? It's because the eye is not in primary. So I do believe it's case number eight. You obviously have watched a ton of videos and learned a ton, and you're learning a lot, but I mean, I want to give you a challenge. My challenge for you is next time you do a case, keep the eye in, uh, this is not good. I want the eye in primary. Why is the eye up there near the upper lid? Why? No, 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 no. I want this centered up here. Keep the eye in primary. Keep the eye in primary. Now, also, while we're switching over to the IA, talk about retinarounds.com. If you're a young doctor or resident, even if you're going to do refractive cataracts or you're like me, you still got to learn from retinarounds. There's so much great material. I promise you're going to love it. And they also feature on retinarounds cases that are good for us, such as complicated anterior segment cases. So you'll learn a lot. Now, Again, the eye is not in primary. So this is the part that's driving me a little bit nuts. So if this was my resident, I would actually be holding your hand and pushing your hand over. Or I'll pull your arm over. I'll get this eye in primary the entire time. I won't let you de default to this eye being pushed up against the upper lid. That's no bueno. That's no good. And so that looks... All right, the cortex is coming out nicely, though. So the technique is there. You obviously have learned from the videos, but it's just putting it into action. Again, my goal for you for your next case is... Don't worry about anything other than keeping the eye in primary there. Look, you can't do this. No, 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 no. Keep the eye in primary the whole case. That is very important for you. Keep the eye in primary. 
And by the way, next time, could you turn off the screen overlay? Do I really need to know how much percentage your light beam is? No, it makes no sense to me. Turn off that screen overlay. You can turn it off on this microscope, I assure you. I blocked out the company's logo already. Now here comes the lens going in the capsule bag. I like that. Go on in beautifully. Let's see that Rex is at the end here. See the overlap. And so, I mean, clearly you've practiced in a lab. That's a beautiful looking Rexus. That's a five millimeter Rexus or so. That looks fantastic. If you go behind the optic and move viscalizing, I'm going to be just blown away. Because for case eight, you should probably not be doing that. But let's see. Let's see what we're going to do here. Cleaning up the court, the, I mean, the viscoelastic. This cohesive viscoelastic comes out of that pretty easily. You can just tilt the lens. Oh, I like a little bit of cortex there. Is that cortex you grab in the bag? Couldn't quite tell. And now, let's see. Finishing up here at the end. Let us, you know, I, I want to see how you hydrate the incision. Let's see. Let's see if you really watch Cataract Coach. Let me see. Uh, it's a little bit off the screen here. Let me see how you hydrate it up. The sidewall's okay. It's a little bit more hydration than I like, but... You're learning. Maybe watch some of my videos. If you go to the cataractcoach.com website and click on the complete list of articles and videos, the ones that call, are called complete cataract cases, you'll see it there. It's only me operating. So you want to see how I operate? Complete cataract cases on cataractcoach.com. Now, at the end here, looks pretty darn good. See, now the eye's kind of in primary, not quite centered with the microscope, but better. So when you operate next time, don't do the thing where you're pushing the eye out of primary. Keep the eye in primary. That's the most important thing I can tell you. Post-op day one, beautiful result. I'm telling you, you're doing great, but you have a lot of room for improvement. Keep up the good work. But for case eight, pow, you're better than I was at case eight. And remember, you want to be a good resident? Cataracoach.com, runarounds.com. Sign up for the free daily email. Don't just say I watch your stuff on YouTube or Instagram. I will not be impressed. Show me that you subscribe to the emails. Thank you.